you watch Netflix? Do you watch I watch Netflix. Do you watch yeah. Netflix? Yeah. Awesome. Well, we know a lot of you guys out there, too. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to do it on these new Pioneer radios. So stay tuned. So, yes, one of the most popular questions is how do I get my phone's video content onto the radio and there's a different couple different ways to do it depending on what kind of phone you have iPhone or Android or this that or the other so what we're gonna do is we're going to show you how we're gonna give you a list of the products you need the parts you need and we're gonna go from there so let's get to it first you're gonna need some way to get an HDMI into the radio we recommend the media links from iSimple Part number ISHD01. This has RCA inputs and an HDMI. This will convert HDMI over to RCA. Next, depending on what type of phone you have, if you have an Apple, you're going to need an Apple Lightning to HDMI adapter, or if you're using a Windows or Android phone, you could use the Belkin Meerkast dongle. Now, Depending on the phone, you're going to need to make sure that it is Meerkast compatible. You may also need an HDMI adapter to go, let's say, from the MediaLinks cable to the Apple cable. For that, we like to use the Kenwood KCA HD100. It's an automotive grade HDMI cable, so it will handle the heat that a car gets throughout the day. If you don't want to use your existing USB on the radio because it's the only one you have, but you want to be able to charge the units, you might want to pick up this guy here. It's called the Hubvolt from iSimple. It's a one amp USB charger. It just hooks up to ignition and ground or constant and ground if you want it to be on all the time. That's entirely up to you. Now if you're using a 491 or a 391 and you have the front facing camera, that's going to use up the one and only AV input. So then what you'll want to do is pick up this guy here. This is the Kenwood CA C3 AV. And what it does is it goes from aux jack to RCA. So this will turn that radio's aux jack into an AV input. So looking at the back of the radio, the AV inputs are this yellow RCA here, this white, and this red. This one is the AV out. This is if you're going to add a rear seat entertainment of some kind, and you'd like to mirror what's on the front screen to the back screen. With the X-Series radios, you can't watch two different things at the same time, but you can mirror. So to start, obviously unbag the MediaLinks cable, and go ahead and plug in according to the colors. Once plugged in, run the HDMI cable somewhere where you can get at this end here. Now if you have a 391 or a 491 and you're using the front camera input, you're going to want to install it a little differently. For that, you're going to use that Kenwood CAC3 aux cable and go ahead and plug it into your aux input, which is located down here by the FM antenna. What that will now give you is your three red, yellow, white. Now, we've had tons of people that have done this and they'll not necessarily get this particular one. And the problem they'll run into is that they'll plug in their cable, their MediaLinks cable, according to the colors. And then they'll ask us, hey, how come I get no video or how come I only get audio out of one channel or how come... And what happens is there's a couple different versions of these aux to RCA adapters. The Kenwood CAC3AV, we know works perfectly. Some of the other ones, what they do is they'll actually color them wrong and or switch a negative inside the things, in which case you're going to have to do musical chairs to where you might have to do something like this. So if you can't get it to work, go ahead and try swapping around. Try the one at a time, just the video, until you can get it to work properly. You also may want to put some heat shrink over these so that they don't get loose in the dash. They are pretty tight, but you know, just be safe. So now that we have the radio powered up, we're going to go to settings, input output settings, and turn on our AV input. 
That'll add a new icon to our drop down menu here that says AV. Now from there, this is what the HDMI will feed. So depending on what we're going to hook up, it'll display on the AV screen. So for now, let's go ahead and plug in an HDMI cable. We'll go ahead and connect the other end of the HDMI cable to the lightning adapter. Now on this lightning adapter, it has another lightning input right here. This is for charge. That's all it does. You don't have to use it if you don't want to, but if you want to charge your phone, go ahead and plug in. Now we'll go ahead and plug this into the end of the phone. Go ahead and select OK on the screen. And whatever source you want to play will automatically start playing on the screen. You, of course, can display anything you want. We just so happen to be watching a YouTube video. You can go into the phone. And, of course, it'll show you anything you like. If there's a favorite navigation app that you'd like to have up, or you just want to display maps while you're driving down the road, you can do that. You just can't touch on the screen itself. There's no control here. And of course you can watch Netflix or Hulu or HBO Go. Basically anything that will display on your phone will display on the radio. You can also listen to it too. We just don't do sound in these for copyright. It's YouTube. But yes, yeah, sound works all the same. So if you're using a 391 or a 491 and you are using the front camera and you have to use the aux, just go to gears, input output setting, and make sure that the aux input is on. So your movie will start playing over your auxiliary input. And this will allow your front facing camera as well as your back facing camera to still work the same way they do now. So to use the Miracast dongle, it's gonna work basically the same. Take your HDMI input, and for this you really don't need an extension. Just go ahead and plug your Miracast dongle in. Plug the power cable in for the mirror cast dongle. Now go to your source. Make sure your AV is turned on. Select AV. The mirror cast dongle will go ahead and start up. It'll have some simple instructions you follow on the screen. Go ahead and follow those. If you'd like to know more about Pairing up your Miracast dongle, we do have a video just on how to do this, which we'll link to in the description. Well, there you go, screen sharing at its finest. So you can do anything that's on the phone. You'll get the audio from the phone. That is a big question, believe it or not. Why would we show you how to do a video if you couldn't get the audio? It's really important. Right? So, yeah. Alright. So thank you for watching. You guys, you, find it. Yep. Uh, you guys can find it. You guys can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. What else? Yeah, ah, uh, Facebook Live every Monday, 6.30 Eastern Standard. And what else? And have a great night. No, you know what? Subscribe, share. You can still have a great night. Oh, yeah. Anyway. All right, cool. See you later.